Is the new Xbox Series X bulletproof? The answer might surprise you. No, we talked about this. We're not shooting it. Okay, let's go unbox it. Let's unbox this box that contains an Xbox. Yes. And here's what comes in the box. You've got a controller, ultra high speed HDMI cable. Here's the power cable. Here are the instructions for getting started. That's a warranty agreement. And here's the Xbox Series X. So why would you want to buy this thing? How about 4K gaming? 12 teraflops of power, game pass, quick resume, smart delivery, backwards compatibility, and oh yes, it comes with a controller. First up, let's talk about that 4K gaming. The Xbox Series X can run games at a 4K resolution compared to the Series S, which can only do 1440p. Of course, to appreciate that 4K-ness, you're gonna need a 4K television. The games do look amazing at 4K. They look so amazing, as a matter of fact, that going back to the real world after a gaming session might be a bit jarring. Not only can the Series X play games at 4K, it can also run some of them at a whopping 120 frames per second. So what does that mean exactly? Basically, the more frames there are per second, the more information you'll see. Here's a comparison to give you a better idea. See? See what I'm talking about? Yeah. All this fancy tech talk aside though, the real question remains, can it run Crisis? It's a 14 year old game. Obviously it can run it. Oh no. The Series X also has 12 teraflops of power compared to the original Xbox's 20 gigaflops. That's 600 times more flops. And I honestly have no idea what that means. But I do know that it's super powerful. Something I did appreciate about the Series X is that it's whisper quiet, even when I'm playing graphically demanding games. For example, here's what it sounded like when I was playing Forza. Stupid. Now let's listen to what the Xbox sounded like. See how quiet it is? Although some people might say it's a little bit too quiet. Luckily, I don't need to worry about that with my old PS4. The Series X also has a quick resume feature, allowing you to jump between games with very little load times. So for example, if you're playing Halo 4 and decide to switch to Forza, but then remember that you don't enjoy racing games, so you switch back to Halo Reach, it shouldn't take you too long to do so. You can currently swap between three games and possibly even more down the line with software updates. It's definitely an impressive feature, but to be honest, I only really play one game at a time. Load times when jumping into a new game, they don't really bother me that much. You know what does bother me though? Korean corn dogs. What are you? Okay, that's pretty tasty. You know what else is tasty? Game Pass. This is actually one of my favorite things the new Xbox can do. For a monthly fee, you get access to over 100 games to play. Think of it as Netflix, but for games. It's a pretty impressive library too. You can even play the new Resident Evil game. Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? You've also got games from different generations, which is pretty cool. So if you missed out on a game from a couple generations ago, you might be able to find it here. It really is a great way to try out new games without having to commit to a giant price tag. Next up, let's chat about that sweet optimization. If you look closely, you'll notice that some games have an optimized for Series X slash S badge. It basically means that the game you're about to play has been optimized to take full advantage of the Xbox Series X hardware. For example, better frame rates or enhanced visuals are some of the things you might see. So as a test, I decided to see what it would look like if the Xbox Series X optimized my first student film. Here's the original. You want me out? Both of you? 
out of your lives? I've changed. Now let's take a look at the optimized version. You want me out, out of your lives. How about you, Pineapple? Does Squash speak for you as well? You've changed. You're right, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. Next up, let's talk about that smart delivery, shall we? It's pretty simple, actually. With smart delivery, once you've purchased a game, you'll have access to the best version of it, forever. For example, if you purchase Cyberpunk 2077 for the Xbox One and later on decide you want a Series X, you won't have to buy the game again. Only having to pay for a game once is actually a really great idea. I'm surprised no one's thought of this before. Am I a joke to you? You guys want some backwards compatibility? Well, the Series X has it. Basically, it means you can play all your favorite games from past consoles. <laughs> Brings me back to the good old days. Hey, can I borrow your cell phone? <laughs> What's a cell phone? This is actually a pretty big deal. The optical drive on the Series X allows you to play games from the original Xbox, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. Although you won't be able to play Kinect games. Nobody cares. I dusted off my old copy of Red Dead Redemption, and it looks and plays great. I guess it's time to finally retire my old Xbox 360. Quiet now, sweet prince. They can't hurt you anymore. Sadly, you won't be able to play your game discs on the Series S because it doesn't have an optical drive. That being said, you do have a bunch of backwards compatible games you can pick up digitally via Game Pass or the Microsoft Store. Did you hear that? No? Well, you will. Because the Series X comes with 3D spatial sound. What is 3D spatial sound, you ask? Well, it's basically surround sound. You can choose from three different types of spatial audio. There's Windows Sonic, Dolby Atmos, and DTS Headphone X. Windows Sonic is free, however, you will have to pay for the other two. I did test out DTS Headphone X, and it's pretty awesome. It does make games much more immersive. Maybe too immersive. Cortana. Hi. I didn't appreciate that I had to pay extra for that audio service. Luckily it is a one-time fee, and you can try it out for 14 days for free. Lastly, let's take a look at that hardware. In the back of the Series X, you've got your power plug, two USB plugs, an HDMI plug, Ethernet plug, and a spot for storage expansion. The Series X comes with a one terabyte hard drive, which might seem like a lot, but the bigger games will eat up that space rather quickly. It's definitely nice to have that slot for extra storage. Although if you want extra storage, it's not gonna be cheap. Currently, the only option you have is a one terabyte SSD from Seagate, and it's gonna run you about 200 bucks. There's also a USB input on the front of the console, which is very convenient. There's different applications for it, sure, but it's fun to be able to put a movie on a USB stick, plug it into the Xbox Series X, and have it play back with no issues. Just make sure it's not a pirated movie. <laughs> and what about that controller? Well, have you ever played with an Xbox One controller? Because it's pretty much the same thing. Although it does feel a little bit more premium because of the textured shoulder buttons, it's not as forward thinking as what Sony did. It's not to say it's a bad controller, I really like it, but it is a bit disappointing to see how safe Microsoft played it here. So let's talk pros. Playing games at 4K is really fun, and the high frame rates are definitely a plus. I also really like the backwards compatibility. Being able to play all my old game discs is really cool. For me though, the best part of the Series X is Game Pass. I truly love being able to play a ton of games without having to pay for them individually. Oh, and I like the way it looks. The whole minimalist vibe is right up my alley. As far as cons go, I really don't have too many gripes. I kind of wish the new Xboxes had more exclusive titles. Compared to Sony, the Series X is trailing behind a little bit. That being said, Microsoft did purchase Bethesda recently, and it could be a pretty big move if the new Elder Scrolls game ends up being an Xbox exclusive. We shall see. So what's my final verdict? I give the Xbox Series X four and a half Korean corn dogs out of five. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that review, make sure to check out all my other reviews on The Gamer. And of course, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba